The county's homeless population has jumped the last two years. The Bakersfield Homeless Collaborative says it grew by about 450 people in 2018. In this week's California Health segment, 23 ABC's Scott Sheehan has reaction from local leaders and several homeless residents on how we can help to solve this crisis. Mike Danielle, during January's point in time homeless count, the Bakersfield Homeless Collaborative found that we have 1,330 homeless people living in our county. But the executive director at the mission at Kern County estimates that number could be closer to 3,000. And he says there's multiple tiers causing the homeless problem. The sun gonna come through, you know, just stay positive. I just try to stay positive. Tony Starks moved to Bakersfield in the 1990s with his dad from Detroit, then Los Angeles. He says he's been in and out of jail and living on Bakersfield streets the last couple of years. He says if he had more help, he could be more productive. You know, maybe more resources. Because there's people who really want to get off the street, you know, and really want to work and get their life going. And there's some people that they just, they just live out here. They just... Trip. Starks is one of the 1,300 homeless people in Kern County. A population when first counted in 2007 was more than 1,500 and bottomed out in 2017 at 810. Executive Director of the Mission at Kern County, Carlos Baldovinos, and the CEO of the Bakersfield Homeless Shelter, Louis Gill, say those numbers vary so much because the count now takes place in a four hour window down from a 24 hour window when it started. And the population has spiked up recently due to a variety of problems. We stopped building low income housing in this state because we got rid of redevelopment agencies at the city level. So there's fewer places for people to move into that are low income. It's, it's a symptom of what's happening throughout our country too. I mean, there's just, when you look at the, the drug abuse, and, and the mental health, even from a national level, it's very, very, very high. A cheap, affordable place of his own is what Stark says will make him successful. He says he tried staying at the mission at Kern County, but he didn't like their dorm style beds. If I got a place to go, I can get everything else. I can get a job and all that. It's hard, you know, calling yourself working and you don't have no, like, no foundation. You, know? you can't just get off, just wake up off the grass and go to work like that, or even on a park bench, you know. You gotta have like um, four walls around you. Charles is another homeless man in Bakersfield who didn't want to give his last name. He says before he came to the mission at Kern County, he spent six or seven months living on the streets of Bakersfield, and that was hard on his psyche. I didn't have any really hope out there, and um, I was down, yeah, depressed, and just, um, you know, mad at myself. So I would kind of like neglect people and kind of, you know, like cast them away, whatever because of my situation. Charles says he's been able to use the mission at Kern County's housing and their program to work towards a goal of being stable and independent. Recently, he started a volunteer job at the mission as a receptionist. Thanks for calling the mission at Kern County, man, that you call. He says he hopes that volunteer position can lead to a career and him moving into a place of his own. Find a nice job that, um, that I can provide for myself and others around me and um, you know, develop relationships in here. The way when I you know, graduate, I can lead with those relationships and stay connected, stay plugged in. While the mission at Kern County has helped Charles, both the mission and the Bakersfield Homeless Center are operating over capacity. Gail and Baldovino say combined, more than 500 people are spending the night at both facilities. And that's not good enough to serve all of Kern County's homeless population. The numbers are staggering, organizations you know, that are working with this population are seeing this and they're overwhelmed because that's what we're seeing day in and day out every single day. The city and the county both currently have major plans to address the Kern County homeless population. In Tuesday's supervisor sessions, they will vote on a measure to spend two to three and a half million dollars to build and maintain a low barrier homeless shelter on the corner of Golden State Avenue and O Street to house 150 people. They also plan to vote to approve the conditional county use permit for a project to build 12 400 square foot homes for veterans in an Oildale neighborhood. Well, Council Member Andre Gonzalez says the city has money from Measure N to use on the homeless population to add 80 new beds to both homeless centers. We have $4 million allocated in this fiscal year for capital costs. Those are one-time dollars in order to purchase 
property. We have an additional $5 million uh, that we can also access for affordable housing as it relates to the homelessness crisis. So $9 million overall. Both Flores and Gonzalez say the city and the county are committed for the long haul very committed. We have to respond and we have to continue to provide additional shelter space, additional emergency shelter beds for those who are in emergency situations. All in, now's not the time to abandon anything. It's time to double down and make the hard commitment and invest in this because this is a crisis. It deserves our funding. Um, and if we do go into tough times and moving, for, moving forward, we'll have to make the necessary uh, funding decisions and prioritize accordingly. Even with these proposed housing initiatives, the county has a long road ahead, but Gill believes there's a roadmap to solving the homeless problem. Outreach, an emergency bed, housing placement, and then aftercare. That's a perfect world. And for Starks, that's all he can hope for. That's like 100% right there, you know, because it's like the main thing, the main foundation is having something to uh, work off of. Now, both officials of the Homeless Center say the best thing you can do when encountering a homeless person is to be friendly to them and to encourage them to seek help. They say it takes about 17 interactions for someone to get help from the streets. You can also hand out one of these cards that directs homeless people to one of the local services here in the county. The county will be voting on their measures during their AM and their PM sessions today, while the city will vote on theirs on Wednesday. For California Health, Scott Sheehan, 23ABC, Connecting You.